How's it going there? Got a few minutes. I will show you how to use your scan tool if you have the ability to look at live oxygen sensor data in order to diagnose a catalytic converter code. This code on the 97 Honda Civic that I've got here that I'm working on is a P0420, meaning a bank one catalyst inefficiency, and 0430 would be on a bank two if you had a V engine. So oftentimes you can get both those codes or just one or the other. And I will show you how to find out for sure that you need a new catalytic converter. All right, so first, obviously, you need a little understanding on oxygen sensors if you're not too familiar with them and the performance of a catalytic converter. So in your exhaust system, you are going to have an inlet to a catalytic converter and then an outlet to the muffler. And if your car is 1996 or later, which are the only cars that I work on because that's all my scan tool works on, you will have two O2 sensors here. You're going to have O2 sensor one, and then you will have one after the cat. That will be your O2 sensor two. And this one will be either bank one or bank two, and of course we need to look at the corresponding. Since this is only a four banger, we've only got one bank, both these sensors are gonna be bank one. Now, uh, when the car is warmed up, and you have to make sure when you're looking at oxygen sensor data that the car is warmed up because otherwise the oxygen sensors are not used. They're not even operable until they get up to like 600 degrees. When you look at your oxygen sensor data on the Bank 1 O2 sensor 1, if the oxygen sensor is working properly, you are going to get sort of an oscillating sine wave like that and this is going to be in voltage, and this is going to be approximately 900 millivolt, and down here is gonna be approximately 100 millivolt. And with an oxygen sensor, in the presence of oxygen, the oxygen sensor voltage will be inhibited. So at low voltages on this sine wave, that means that the sensor is in what is sort of a lean condition and in a rich condition the oxygen sensor is going to have a higher voltage. Now the computer controls oscillating between a lean and rich condition to maintain an optimal temperature for the catalytic converter to clean emissions. You can kind of think of it sort of as fanning a fire uh, at, a, at sort of a controlled weight, weight rate and as you're fanning the fire it's kind of heating up and cooling down and heating up and cooling down as you're kind of blowing air at it and that's kind of a rough analogy of what the computer is trying to do here so that's why this is oscillating here the conditions in the engine are such that the exhaust flow is going to be very slightly rich very slightly lean oscillating and this is perfectly normal if you don't see this then then you've got some kind of problem now, in the catalytic converter, it's going to take hydrocarbons and it is going to convert them into CO2 and H2O, carbon dioxide and water. Now, the chemistry here isn't important, but what is, is that it uses a very important component from the incoming exhaust to complete this reaction. And that is going to be oxygen. And this is very, very important because if the catalytic converter is working properly, then there will be no oxygen leaving the catalytic converter. And that is the sole purpose of this downstream oxygen sensor is to detect if there is oxygen downstream of the catalytic converter. Now, think about it. This is your waveform for your bank one sensor one. This is bank one sensor two after the cat. If there is no oxygen, what is that waveform going to look like from this oxygen sensor? It is going to be a fairly flat line at a high voltage because if there's no oxygen in there, then the, there is nothing inhibiting the voltage from the sensor, so the sensor is gonna emit maximum voltage. So in a good catalytic converter system, you will have this waveform. If you have a bad catalytic converter, in other words, it is a inefficient catalyst, as indicated by the P0420 code, then there is no catalytic activity taking place on the exhaust going in. So what is going in will be the same as what is coming out. And this sensor 
will duplicate pretty much the bank one sensor one. So that is how you would tell that you have this problem. Let's go ahead and hook this car up to the scan tool and see how this looks on an actual data output. Okay, so this is the real output data. I know it's very difficult to tell that because of my extremely talented artistic abilities that I showed you earlier there, but this is actually the output from a car with a P0420, this is bank one inefficient catalyst code. And as I had stated, if we look here, the red trace is O2 bank one sensor one. This is the upstream sensor. So this oscillation is completely normal. And the green here is the bank one sensor two. So it's on the same bank, but this is after the catalytic converter. And you can see that these waveforms pretty much look the same. So obviously what is going into the catalytic converter is the same as is what is coming out of the catalytic converter. This is a bad catalytic converter. There is no activity taking place. Now, if we look here, after we replace the catalytic converter, we see that sensor one upstream of the cat still has its nice oscillation, but look now at the green line. It is up at high voltage pretty consistently, and this indicates that there is excellent catalytic activity taking place with the converter so the problem is fixed. When the downstream sensor of the catalytic converter shows this waveform, the computer will detect that. It knows that it's the same as the waveform upstream and it will throw the code because it knows the catalytic converter is not working. Now as you know, normally in my videos I really, really do everything possible not to replace a component based on what a scan tool says. If you get an oxygen sensor code, do not change the oxygen sensor. If you get an idle air control code, do not change the idle air control. Do some diagnostics, rule it out. In this case though, with an 0420 or 0430, really the only possible way that you can get this is if the catalytic converter is not working. Even any combination of leaks in the exhaust or anything would not cause the same input and output like we see up here. So in that case, if you've got those codes, pretty much you are guaranteed you need a new catalytic converter. So this is something to consider if you have a car that's really newer and doesn't use oxygen sensors and instead uses air fuel sensors. A lot of Toyotas certainly do this. In most cars after 2006, it seems you run into this a lot. This is a whole different thing than oxygen sensors. They don't detect oxygen. They actually detect the ratio of air and fuel and use very minimal voltages that are beyond the capabilities of my scan tool and probably yours too unless you're professional mechanic. So um, again, that, that just helps knowing that that code really indicates you need to change the catalytic converter. So if you have an air fuel sensor, you can make a better decision on if you want to change your catalytic converters or not. Hopefully that will help you make your own diagnosis and I hope you found this helpful.